guys hey, welcome back thanks for clicking so we're going to be checking out four people took shahada from dr zakid Naik after his lecture so let's check it out um we have four people uh, who wants to declare shahada so we uh, they can come to the stage okay. it's very easy to become a citizen of the muslim nation all you have to say is the password which sheikh zakir inshallah will teach it to our new brothers as we say we are all brothers in humanity we are all humans whatever religion we are but just like citizenship you know he's from this country or that country when they declare this very nice password which is known to everybody it's not a password then they become they they gain a special brotherhood which is the brotherhood in islam Come on. just be careful May I know your name, brothers? Can I have the names? Jomar. 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 Yeah. Your brother? My name is Vincent. Wilson. I'm Gilbert. Sorry? Gilbert. Steven. Steven. I would like to ask you a question that do you believe that there is one God? All of you? All of you believe? And do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe? Do you believe that, that Jesus peace be upon him? Is he God or is he a messenger? Messenger. What do you believe? Messenger, mashallah. Messenger? Mashallah. Yes, that is one of the fundamentals of faith that we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not God but is the messenger of God. I would like to ask you. And you have a question. Yes, yeah. uh, good evening, uh, Dr. Zakir. Assalamu alaikum. So, uh, beginning from me, I was raised Christian. Uh, believe me or not, from, from, uh, from I woke up from the, ch uh, from the childhood and become a mature, I didn't open Bible. That is really true. And everyone, and even, uh, even until now, but someone came to me, then re, uh, introduced me about Islam. So one thing left in me, since the uh, last 15 days, I started to read Quran and search about Islam. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I want to know regarding the Islam and regarding, regarding, the, uh, regarding uh, become a Muslim. I, uh, I prepared some questions, I, I prepared some uh, notes here, which is uh, I found in the in the YouTube, in other articles in the internet, that it says uh, uh, these words is came from Prophet Muhammad, peace upon, peace upon him. So I want to read this, then I want uh, an answer from uh, Dr. Zakir regarding in uh, clarifications. I don't have any doubt to become a Muslim. I believe, I believe in one religion. But then I want to clarify first before my heart open and accept the, the Islam and be, become a Muslim. Sure. Can I have the question, please? Yeah. So, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, whoever killed a person having a treaty with, with the Muslims shall not smell the smell of paradise through its smell is perceived from the distance of the 40 years. Another thing, if anyone kills a man who grants protection prematurely, Allah will forbid him to enter the paradise. Another thing, Allah the Almighty, the Almighty, uh, Allah the Almighty, tortures those who torture people in this life. 
So my question is, is there any Can human... Can you repeat the third? Can you repeat the second and third hadith, please? Second. The, the second. Can you come in the front? Okay, I'm looking at the second is, if anyone kills a man who he, who he grants protection prematurely, Allah will forbid him to enter paradise. So my question for this uh, statement from uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is there any written in the book that... Can I request that the parent can take the child out, please? I request the father, can you take the child down, please? Jazakallah shukur. I request the volunteers. I believe there are less volunteers here. If there are volunteers here, if you avoid me telling on the stage, your ears should be sharp enough. It is mentioned very clearly that children below the age of eight should not be allowed here. So you see to it that the volunteers, the ears should be sharp enough. The moment you hear the cry the first time, the second time it should not be heard. So I request the volunteers to be active. And I request the parents themselves to do it voluntary because the Sharia says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. We are having this, this program is being telecast to 100 million people. So please, please cooperate. You wouldn't like to be the cause of 100 million people not hearing correctly. So I request the parents, the moment your child cries, see to it that you move your child outside, outside the theater, please. Can you continue? Okay. Back to, uh, back to my question. So, if there is any written in the book that, uh, or in the Quran, says that there is a one person, a human being, uh, sent by God or give the authority that God that kills a person, whatever this person has, uh, has sinned or even the heavy sins. So, according as what I said, Allah Almighty tortures the person who tortures human beings. So that what's is my the, question. What's your question? I don't understand. Is there any human being that Allah that uh, Allah gives permit permission to kill a person? Just ah. what we did. Just what what happened and uh, nowadays. The brother asked me a question that does Allah give permission for you to kill any other human being? The hadith is quote that if there is a tie, like the hadith he quoted three hadiths. One hadith says that. If there is a peace treaty between the Muslims and the others, you have to protect that person. If you don't, then you will not enter Jannah. The second says that you cannot kill a person who is under peace treaty. If you do that, you shall not enter Jannah. All these verses talk about you should not kill any other human being which is under treaty. There is also another verse in the Quran which I quoted in my talk, which is a very important verse in the Quran. In Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 32, we say that if anyone kills any other human being, whether it be a Muslim or non-Muslim, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And if he saves any human being, he has saved the whole of notion. So according to the Quran, as well as the Hadith, you cannot kill any innocent human being. And your question, who can you kill? Only that person, as the Quran says, unless you cannot kill any other human unless he spreads corruption. So if a person spreads corruption in the land, then you can kill him. Do not kill any other human being unless he commits murder. If someone has murdered someone, and then if you murder him, Quran gives permission. Secondly, if he spreads corruption in the land, for example, if a man goes and rapes a woman, it is spreading corruption. So the penalty in Islam for rape is death penalty. So the only two places where you can kill any other human being is that if he is spreading corruption in the land or if he has committed murder. Spreading corruption can include many things. For example, as I said, committing rape of a woman. So if these two things are there, these two are the only time where death penalty can be given and the Sharia specifies this where death penalty can be given. If you read the hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are cases where death penalty can be prescribed. In all the other cases, if you kill any other innocent human being, if he is not spreading corruption in the land, and if he has not committed murder, then it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. Hope that answers the question.
Hope you're convinced. Brother, hope you're convinced with the answer. So, would you like to take the shada now? A request of the brother again. I prefer that the people should be down. They should not be called on the stage so I can interact. I'm turning my back to the audience, to the camera. Okay, as I was saying, that all of you believe that there is one God? Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? And you believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God? Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Is anyone forcing you? Okay, I'll just say it in Arabic. The same thing, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger and you repeat it. Inshallah after me. Ashadu. Can you give the microphone please? Come out. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And. And. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. Servant of Allah. MashaAllah. We go Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant all of you Jannah. Inshallah. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah grant all these from the Jannah and through them may He guide other peoples to the straight path of Islam. Well, that was a beautiful one. And what made me make this also unique is the fact that they were all men, they are all guys. You get it? There are some points in time that you see that the people that accept Islam take their shahada on stage, it will be all female, sometimes it will be all male. And this one, woof! amazing and i love the question that man asks and wow i'm surprised so that means there are some situations in which the quran has set or can allow death penalty in islam i thought it's not allowed at all that death penalty is not allowed whether the person does something wrongly as, as long as the person did not kill but when the person have you rape and the rest all this kind of bad things maybe all these things happen like rape you know stealing that should not lead to death penance but if it's death you kill someone i think that is fair enough that whoever kills someone possibly might be in that situation you get it but whew, that was a lot but i don't like the fact that um the person that actually recorded this video then caused the part where zach knight was cautioning the the parents you know all these kind of things i i'm sure they, they want people to learn people that are watching to learn but at the same time i think those parts were not necessary at all there are some parts that you just have to cut out we just want the message not a place where he is feeling uncomfortable or is complaining, you know, about some people's behavior, you know, no. But regardless, that was a beautiful shahada, beautiful one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.